Hello everyone. Welcome back to this lecture series on complex analysis. Today we are going to learn about the derivative of a function of a complex variable. Suppose the complex function f is defined in a neighborhood of point z0, then the derivative of function at the point z0 is denoted by f dash z0 or we can also write it as df by dz at z0 and is the limit of the function fz minus fz0 divided by z minus z0 when z approaches z0. So z0 is the fixed point and z is arbitrary point in the neighborhood. So when the neighborhood point approaches this fixed point then if this limit exists then we say that derivative exists and then we can write it as f dash z0. Okay. So if we substitute z minus z0 as delta z then this definition can also be written as this. So denominator z minus z0 is substituted delta z. So this z minus z0 is delta z so it becomes delta z tends to 0 and because z minus z0 is delta z so z is z0 plus delta z. So this z in the numerator is substituted as z0 plus delta z. So these two are just same so we can utilize this or this to find whether this limit exists or not. If this limit exists then we call that the derivative exists. Okay. And uh, here this uh, z is a neighborhood complex point of the fixed complex number z0. So this uh, limit should exist for every path in which z approaches z0 or in every path through which delta z approaches 0. So this path can be a uh, horizontal straight line, vertical straight line or any other straight line or it can be a curved line, parabolic, cubic and so on. Okay. So any, uh, any path along which delta z approaches 0 or z approaches z0, if this limit exists, then we say that derivative exists. Say uh, for example, uh, we'll uh, use definition to find the derivative of function z square plus 2z okay so uh, so here the function fc is given z square plus 2z so uh, we'll uh, use uh, this definition uh, but instead of at a fixed point we are uh, will calculate derivative at general point z okay so fz is given z square plus 2z let us calculate what is f of z plus delta z. So if with any change delta z, f of z plus delta z is z plus delta z square. So this number plus 2 times z plus delta z. Okay. So if we solve this, then uh, z square plus delta z square plus 2z delta z plus 2z plus 2 delta z. Okay. So uh, the numerator is the difference of these two divided by delta z. So if we calculate the difference of f of z plus delta z minus f z, then this term first and this fourth term here and second here cancels out and we are left with this number. So as uh, we define divide with delta z and take limit delta z tends to zero. So if we divide with delta z, then uh, this will be delta z plus 2z plus 2 and if we take the limit delta z tends to 0 on this then uh, this goes to 0 and what we are left with 2z plus 2 okay so the <coughs> limit on uh, this ratio exists and it is equal to 2z plus 2 so this derivative exists and uh, the derivative of function z square plus 2z is nothing but 2z plus 2. Okay. So this is by definition. Okay. So what we see is uh, uh, this we could have also calculated by the usual formulas that we know that derivative of z square is 2z, derivative of 2z is 2. Okay. So the polynomial derivative is just this polynomial. Okay. So these uh, rules are uh, applicable for complex functions and uh, they are similar to uh, what we have studied for real variables. 
first rule is the constant rule that the derivative of a complex constant number is always zero the derivative of constant times a function is constant times derivative of function second the sum rule that the derivative of uh, sum of functions or difference of function is the uh, individual derivative sum or difference the product rule that the derivative of product of two functions is the first function derivative second plus second function derivative first the quotient rule that derivative of uh, function fz divided by g z is uh, the second function or the denominator derivative numerator minus numerator derivative denominator divided by the denominator squared the chain rule that derivative of a function f of g of z is the derivative of f times the derivative of the inner function g the power rule that derivative of uh, fz whole power n is n fz power n minus 1 into derivative of f where n is an integer there is possibility that uh, the derivative may not exist anywhere so we'll just take one example to show you that uh, a function which is nowhere differentiable so derivative of this function do not exist in any point c okay say fz is x plus 4iy and we'll show that this is not differentiable at any point c okay so to prove this we just need to prove that uh, there are two different paths for which the limits are different different okay so let z be any point in the complex plane and any change in the point z is denoted by delta z which is delta x plus i delta y so we have to find this limit delta z tends to 0 f of z plus delta z minus f z over delta z okay so f z is this so f of z plus delta z means change in this so change means change in x and change in y so x plus delta x plus 4 i y plus delta y that will be f of z plus delta z so this number minus the f z so minus of this so minus x minus 4 i y divided by delta z which is delta x plus i delta y so x cancels out uh, 4 i y cancels out so what we have is delta x plus 4 i delta y in the numerator and delta x plus i delta y in the denominator now if uh, this limit exists for uh, any path as delta z tends to 0 then we say derivative exists okay so we'll take uh, we'll show that uh, there are uh, at least two paths for which limit is different one is when uh, delta y goes to 0 first and then delta x goes to 0 so that means uh, we are moving in the horizontal direction uh, and uh, second path is that delta x goes to 0 first and then delta y goes to 0 that means we are along the imaginary axis moving along the imaginary axis so first let uh, delta z goes to 0 along the line parallel to x axis okay so this is a z point any neighborhood point delta z approaches z along the horizontal direction so in this case delta y will be 0 and delta z will be purely delta x so this limit where delta y is 0 so this delta x by delta x will be 1 and the delta z is delta x so delta x goes to 0 and 1 is 1 okay so along the horizontal direction the limit is 1 similarly we calculate uh, the uh, limit along vertical direction so along the vertical direction delta x is 0 and delta z is i delta y and uh, when delta z goes to 0 delta x is 0 and delta y by delta y will cancel out i will cancel out and we will have 4 okay so delta y is, tends to 0 and 4 is 4 so limit along the horizontal is 1 limit along the vertical is 4 so as delta z goes to 0 along these two different paths the limit value is different so that means limit 
do not exist so function is not differentiable at any point z so fz is not differentiable at any point z okay so now we'll take one example to show you that it is possible that derivative can exist at certain points and not everywhere or that derivative uh, is only there at some of the fixed points so this example uh, that fz is mod z square show that function fz is differentiable only at origin okay so only at origin this function has derivative and at all other points the derivative is not there so again we will use the same formula okay so limit delta z tends to 0 f of z plus delta z minus f z over delta z so that the definition of a derivative so z plus delta z so any change in this z function so we have z plus delta z modulus square minus f z so f z is already this over delta z okay so we know we know that uh, modulus square means z into z bar okay so modulus of this square means z plus delta z into its bar so that can be written as z bar plus delta z bar now we can multiply this and uh, open the bracket and then z into z bar minus z into z bar this term will cancel out so we open the bracket and this cancelled out this term so left terms are z bar delta z is one term z into delta z bar and delta z into delta z bar okay so again this denominator delta z will cancel out with first term and third term and second term it remains there so this can be written in this form okay so again uh, delta z is a neighborhood point of z so as delta z goes to zero so we'll see again by two paths one is the horizontal direction and one is the vertical direction that uh, what happens to this limit so as delta z goes to zero along the horizontal direction along the real line and on the real line we know that delta z is same as delta z bar okay, because the numbers are uh, real numbers so if we take the limit on this with delta z equals to delta z bar then this term will cancel out and it will be simply z and as delta z goes to zero because these are equal delta z bar also goes to zero so this term becomes zero so the limit is z bar plus z okay similarly we calculate the limit when delta z goes to zero along the imaginary axis along the vertical line and on the vertical line delta z is purely imaginary okay i y type so delta z whole bar is minus i y type so delta z is minus delta z bar so along this uh, this ratio will become minus one and as delta z goes to zero delta z bar also goes to zero so this term becomes zero so along vertical this limit will be z bar minus z this will z bar this will be minus one so minus z and this term is zero okay so now uh, because of the limit uniqueness limit will exist if this value of limit and this value of limit is same otherwise the limit will not exist okay so from here uh, from the uniqueness if these two are equal then this means that uh, z must be zero okay so that means if z is non zero then the limit cannot exist because uh, this value and this value is different if z is non zero okay so we immediately say that the derivative of function cannot exist if z is non zero because then these two limit values are different now for z is equal to zero if we go back here if z is zero this last term is zero okay and for z zero z bar is also zero so this term is also zero so we only need to calculate limit limit delta z tends to zero on delta z bar okay so this limit equals limit delta z tends to zero of delta z bar when z is zero because this term and this term is exactly zero okay and uh, whatever path you use for delta z goes to zero delta z bar also goes to zero so this limit is always zero and unique so that means that the derivative exists at origin okay so this is a function where derivative exists on only one point okay and uh, is the function is not differentiable at any other point 
in the next video i will talk about cauchy riemann equations do subscribe to my channel to follow the updates click the like button and uh, if you have any queries you can write in the comment box thank you and have a nice day